In this video, we will know the concept of weak and strong dimensions. In cryoparametric, there are two types of dimension. One is weak dimension and one is strong dimension. So to understand the concept of these dimensions, let me draw some sketch. So I select a sketch, select a top plane and click sketch. Go to sketch view. I turn off the plane display and go to the rectangle, draw a center rectangle. Draw a rectangle of some random dimensions and press escape. Now if I take the cursor on any of these two dimensions, we can see it is highlighting that it is a standard dimension and the name of this dimension is D1. The value is given 445 and in bracket it is showing it is a weak dimension. Similarly, if I take the cursor onto this vertical dimension, it is dimension D0, the value is 312 and it is also a weak dimension. So what are these weak and strong dimension? So weak dimension are those dimension that are automatically created by the software. These are random dimensions. If I change the value of one of the dimension, let me change this value. I double click on this dimension. Suppose I take this value 150 and press enter. And now I take the cursor onto this dimension. It is now showing that it is a standard dimension and now it is showing it is a strong dimension. So the weak dimension has a property of changing themselves according to the sketch. So that is why it is always advisable to convert your weak dimensions into your strong dimensions. Another way of identifying weak and strong dimension is the color of these dimensions. The color of weak dimensions is specified by light blue color. We can see it from here in this vertical dimension. While the color of the strong dimension are denoted by this dark blue or violet color. So if we have a very complicated sketch and we want to identify which dimensions are weak and which are strong, there is another way of identifying those dimensions. To do this, I go to this tools option, click on this tools and I go to this model intent. Click on this arrow. Okay, for this first, let me exit from this sketch. Click OK from here. And then I go to this tools, model intent and select the program option. In this program, select edit design. And we see a notepad window will open. I maximize this notepad window. Basically, this notepad window represent all the features of the sketch we have created. So I select this file option. Okay, I go to this edit and go to replace. Okay, I go to the find option. Click on this find. I insert the text weak and press enter. And in the bottom side is highlighting feature dimensions. Dimension D0 is displayed. It is value, its value is given and it is a weak dimension. And for the strong dimension, nothing is displayed. It means it is a strong dimension. So this is another way of finding the weak and strong dimensions. I go to this file and click on the sketch and select done return. I select this yes option and select done return.